Parshas Ekev, Tov Shin Pei Aleph. We are now a couple of weeks into the Shiva Den Chemta, the seven weeks of consolation after Tisha B'av, that we take this all the way to Rosh Hashanah, believe it or not. And we're going to speak about a subject this week that the Nesiva Shalom speaks about really a lot in the Sefer. And that is the Inyan of Dveikus Bashem. A person having the obligation to be connected, to be close to Hashem. And trying to understand what that means right away opens up a very, very big discussion. But we're going to try to just touch upon it and give some nice ideas from the Nesiva Shalom this week. And the Pesach in our parsha says, As Hashem Alekecha Tira, person should fear Hashem, Oisoy Sa'avoid, should serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Uvoy Sidbak. And to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, you should Sidbak, you should cleave to Hashem, you should be close to Hashem. Later on in the Parsha, also, we know, we're familiar with the Pasuk, Li'ava, Li'ava es Hashem elekechem, Li'ava es Hashem elekechel aleches b'chol derachav, to go in the ways of Hashem, u'ledov kaboy, to love Hashem, and once again, to cleave to Hashem, to be close to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And really, it's not just in our Parsha, in Parsha Re'e, Parshas Nitzavim, the Torah also mentions Dveikus Bashem, the Indian that's spoken of a few times in the Torah. And Chazal tell us the Gemara, Sech Tzuvis Daf Kuf Yud Aleph Amid Beis, that you know what it means. How does a person connect to Hashem? How could you connect to Hashem? You know what it means. The Gemara says. It means he davik chachamim that you should connect yourself to talmidei chachamim to your rabbeim to your rabbonim to your rebbes whatever you want but connect to talmidei chachamim and that is really what we are saying that is your connection to Hashem. However, it says in Siva Shalom, yes, that's the pshat of the Gemara, but we have to still understand. We have a klal that tells us. Ein mikra yoytze midei pshutoi. That there is something called the pashat pshat of the pasuk, and the pasuk tells us uledov kaboy uvoi sidbak. The the pasuk tells us that we should connect to Akash Baruch Hu. So the Gemara we know says to to stick to and become close to Talmidei Chachamim. So the Siva Shalom tells us that really the mitzvah, of course, is to connect to Hashem. But the Gemara is telling us, how do you connect to Hashem? Very difficult. Human being, connect to Hashem. Talmidei Chachamim are the medium. And the way to accomplish that, that a person, a Yid, a Jew, is supposed to be close to Hashem. You know how you get close? You accomplish that by connecting to Talmidei Chachamim. So really, what we need to understand first is why does the Torah speak so much in so many different places about the Vekus Bashem? We know every letter of the Torah is for a purpose. Every word, every letter is accounted for. And there's a reason for every letter in the Torah. So when the Torah goes ahead and speaks about something so often, and in so many different places, there must be a reason why. Because the default way of the Torah... The default way is to say things very precise and very concise. Not to speak about and repeat things a number of times. We know that nothing in the Torah is superfluous. And the same thing is when it comes to Kedusha. We find many times in the Torah that we speak from Kedoshim Tiyu, Vizkadashtim, Vizem Kedoshim, all these different times the Torah speaks about Kedusha also with great brevity. The Torah speaks about it many times. Seemingly, we're not trying to be short on words over there. The Torah is speaking of Kedusha and Vekus Bashem 
very often in many different in many different psukim. Then Siv Shalom brings the Sefer Hakadosh Avodas Yisrael, and Avodas Yisrael from the Koshnitzer in Mesechtes Avodas Peragimel Mishni Yud, and Avodas Yisrael brings down the story that the Gemara brings down in Mesechtes Shabbos Daf Lamed Aleph Amed Aleph about this Goy Yanochri who wanted to come to Kla Yisrael. He wanted to convert. And the Gemara tells us that he came to Hillel HaZokain. And Hillel HaZokain told him and gave him a piece of advice. This guy said he wanted to learn the entire Torah. In one minute he wanted to sum up what's the key to the whole Torah. means that he wanted it just to get right. Tell me something that's going to encompass, encapsulate the entire Torah. And that's what the guy wanted. He wanted the short way, like our way today. Everything the quickest way, shorthand. He wanted that way to learn the whole Torah. So Hillel told him like this. sani, That which you dislike. And we know, many, many of us know, that which you don't like done to yourself, don't do to someone else. The Edoch Perusha, everything else in the Torah, is just translation on that point. Everything else in the Torah stems from that. That's what it would seem to me. Now, Zil Gemar, now go learn. But realize your starting point is this. That is your starting point. And he writes a beautiful pshat, Avedis Yisrael, on this Maimer Chazal. And he says like this, the Poshet way of understanding it is, Ma'da'alach sani, that which you dislike, L'chavroch to your friend, lo yisavid. Right? V'yahavtu l'reacha k'moicha. Don't do to someone else what you yourself, and it's a key in life. We know it is. But Hillel was saying, that's what it means. Don't do that push up shot in what Hillel told this guy. And what the Koshnitzah says, a beautiful pshat on this, is L'chavroch doesn't only mean your friend. L'chavroch means to connect. So you could have a translation of these words, Ma'da'alach sani l'chavroch, put the put the comma in a different place, that which prevents you from connecting to Hashem, l'chavroch, to connecting to Hashem, that loy savid. Don't do. So if you want to gauge what you should be doing in your life, how you go about your day, how you go about your week, the way to look at it, says the Avodah Yisrael, is, is what I'm going to do right now, is it going to connect me to HaKadosh Baruch Hu? Or is, it, or is it going to distance me from HaKadosh Baruch Hu? And that's the key in life. To always think before you do something, and there's no such thing as being neutral, being on a treadmill. The idea is that whatever you're going to do, and whatever you're going to say, is Hashem going to be happy with what I'm doing? Is it going to connect me to HaKadosh Baruch Hu? Or is this action that I'm taking going to distance me from Hashem? So Hillel gave over the key to going about life. The gauge that we need to use. Mitzvah saseh that we're supposed to do to bring us closer. Do those. Do mitzvah saseh. Mitzvah sloi saseh. Things that we're not supposed to do. Don't do those because they're going to distance you from Hashem. And now, says in Siva Shalom, we can understand a little bit why the Torah writes so many times about Dveikas Bashem. Because it's the aside of the Torah. Every one of the mitzvahs we know, 613 ways to bring us closer or to distance us from Hashem. And that's the aside of our life. And that's the aside of how we have to live every day. And how we have to focus. And the purpose of a Jew is to grow and get closer to Hashem. So the Torah mentions a few times, Dveikus Bashem, Dveikus Bashem. Just know how important it is that that's your barometer, that's your gauge, that's your way of going about your life and accomplishing your goals in life. So then the Siva Shalom actually asks, 
he says that why do we need a separate mitzvah though of Uvoy Sidbuk? If we mentioned in the Torah that Abbas Hashem brings you closer to Hashem, Yiras Hashem brings you closer to Hashem. So we know already how to get there. Yiras Hashem, Abbas Hashem. Why do you have to have a separate mitzvah of Uboy Sidbuk? Just do those things. Love Hashem, fear Hashem, and Mamela. You're going to have Dvekus Pashem. Why Uladov Kaboy? Why do we continue on and we say to cleave to Hashem? See, the Shalom answers with the beautiful Ramban. The Ramban on the Pusik of Liava is Hashem Elekech Uladov Kaboy. And the Ramban says that the mitzvah of Dvekus Hashem doesn't just mean connecting to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The mitzvah of Dvekis Pashem talks about connecting to Hashem in a consistent way. Ritzifus, being constantly connected to HaKadosh Baruch Hu at all times. Where it really bothers you if you fall back down the hill a little bit. If you're not as connected as you were yesterday, it should bother you. Being connected means that you cannot tolerate being separated. And you have to always be conscious of that. Being connected to Hashem at times and being disconnected at other times and distant at other times, that is not called Dvekus Bashem. It's not the mitzvah of Uladav Kabay. Uladav Kabay means to hold fast, be connected, and to get more connected. If you slip back, that is not Uladav Kabay. And that's why the Torah tells you even more so, Uladav Kabay. Remember what the purpose is. And the morale says, actually, that happenstance connection to HaKadosh Baruch Hu is not called a connection at all. That's not the mitzvah in the Torah. And in order for Ahava and Yira to bring one to Dvekis Bashem, they need to be consistent. You have to be constantly loving HaKadosh Baruch Hu, constantly fearing HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So the Torah adds on to that, Uladovka boy that the purpose of your Aves Hashem and your Yiras Hashem is supposed to be for the purpose of understanding that it's meant to connect you and your purpose of your life is to be connected to Hashem, not just to love Hashem and fear Hashem for the sake of doing that. And this most essential Madrega, we would think now it's such a lofty goal. We would think that this essential Madrega in life it seems that it's almost impossible. Who could always be so connected to always have Abbas Hashem on that level, to always have Yiras Hashem on that level? We just said how important it is and what a fundamental it is, and it seems that we almost can't do it because we're human beings. We're not perfect. We have our faults. We slip up. Every person does. So what does that mean? So Nesiv Shalom tells us in his beautiful way, and when Nesiv Shalom brings out these points of life, and things that you need to do in life, the Siva Shalom always tells us, don't think that you can do it. You just do the best you can. Some will accomplish more, and some will accomplish, accomplish less. But if you try, and you do your best, then you are Mikayim the mitzvah. Because no one is perfect. And no one has all the kaiches in the world, and no one is that perfect person that can always, always be on their game. Doesn't work that way. But if you do what you can do, what you're capable of doing, and go as far as you can go today, then you are being Mekayim the Mitzvah on your level, even without completing it. And if you put in your effort, and you do your thing, and you do what you can do, as much Abbas Hashem as you can, as much year as Hashem as you can. And the most important key is to try to grow a little bit each day. Add on to it. Don't slip back. Add on a tiny bit. Just what you can do. When Hashem sees you do that, then you're zoichet to siyata deshmaya. Hashem lifts you up and says, you're interested? You want? I'm going to help you. And I am going to give you siyata deshmaya to accomplish more than even you know you can do. And that's the Indian in this week's parsha. Ledovka boy, to connect to Hakadosh Baruch Hu, know that we do mitzvahs and we live for a purpose, and our purpose is to always be getting closer and closer to Hashem.